Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Um, I am back. I haven't quit. Um, I know I did post a video last week um, so I think you guys roughly know that I haven't quit but I know that my uploads haven't been as frequent as they used to be um, which is just due to like a few things but I just thought I would do like a little sit down chat with you guys, give a little life update, just sit and chat about some things. I like to do these every so often, especially if I haven't posted for a while, just to like give you guys an insight on what's going on kind of thing for anyone who does is interested in that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, also apologies that I'm in my hoodie and my pyjamas, like I have been dressed today, it is like neither like evening time, so yeah, it's not so bad. Um, <laughs> I did go and take my sister to school and like done some errands and all that then came back and worked out and all that. Um, yeah, so like I actually have like started a new, well, not like I was working out before, but like a workout routine. Um, I've been doing a Chloe Ting workout and it's been really good so far. I'm trying to stick with it because it's been really tough. Um, but yeah, so that's been really like helping me like mentally and physically because I've been really weak and I think I have spoke about this before on the channel where I just have no upper body strength and like it was so bad like I couldn't even carry like a shopping bag with shopping in it um it was just really sore like on my arms but today when I went to the shops to get some stuff um I was able to carry it the whole way home so that is definitely progress and also I don't know if I mentioned already but I'm really sorry like that I have my hair up I don't like it when my hair is up but we're here now so we can't we can't go back <laughs> um so yeah just trying out this setting um I used to film videos from my bed before but it was like in a different section of the room so well not like a section but you know what I mean um but it's just been so it's just felt really nice right now just to sit down in front of the camera and just talk um because i haven't recorded videos in about like three weeks maybe a month i've been using a lot i think maybe more three weeks i don't think it's been a month um i've just been using a lot of like pre-recorded videos because i've been getting really bad like my migraines have been really bad um the past couple of weeks like on and off but I'm having a good week where they've so far because it's Monday but like that week there like they were fine um but um we have started moving in to do a lot of things for Cavendish for those of you that don't know what Cavendish is it's a Scottish school series um about a boarding school and their pupils um and it's on Amazon Prime and I'm gonna be playing Freya McIntyre so I'm really excited she's a Glenn Morvan Jr girl um, I'm really excited to bring her to life. We had her test shoot last Tuesday and it was just so much fun. Like I just took in every single thing. Plus it was also really, really nice to just see so many other people that don't live in your house and just like be able to talk to people, especially because obviously Scotland's still in lockdown and well, the UK as a whole still in lockdown. So it's just been so nice to just like hang about with people, like talk to people and it just felt like, norm what pre-covid life was sort of like but with also the safety part of it as well so it was just really really nice i felt like it was so exhausting though like interacting with all those people to be fair um it was really um intense plus i'm i'm very i'm a very excitable person so like because i was getting so excited about being around these people and experiencing like being on the set and like having the makeup artists come in and like touch up her makeup and all that sort of stuff like it was just really surreal for me um and I just really loved it but it was very exhausting just because I'm very excitable and then talking to so many people and but it was just really great I like loved every second of it and we had our costume fittings on Sunday there um as well so the costumes for episode two that I'm gonna be in are like top notch like so top notch obviously i'm not going to tell you guys things that aren't already posted on social media because you know that would be defeat the purpose um but yeah like if you want to check out any of the photos that were taken like from behind the scenes or like want to stay updated with it um feel free to follow me on at megan smith actor on instagram if you fancy i know that's like 
shameless plug or whatever but I mean just in case anyone is actually interested and I can also put it in the description if you didn't catch that <laughs> um just in case like you don't have to like it's only if you're actually interested and want to check it out um so yeah I've been doing a lot of that and like you know like character development um like focusing on my lines and all that so that's been really really fun and I've really been spending a lot of time on that which obviously is really great and I think it's really interesting because I think when you really love something and you get to do it professionally or you get there's a way for you to do it in a way that you get paid for it or something like that it can really test you to see if it's just like something that you adore or if it's actually something you really want to do and I think this whole experience has been like a good curve because I feel like it was a good opportunity for for me to see like is this actually something that I want to do like seeing it in like more of like a professional aspect um and it is like a hundred percent like I already knew that I wanted to be an actor but like do you know when people start to kind of like doubt your profession and stuff like that you're like okay well is it like I mean I know it is but you sort of have a little bit of doubt but I know a hundred percent concrete in the ground know for a fact that acting is what I want to do like I already knew that but like this was like the clarification like yep this is a hundred percent I want to do for my career like I want to like like I like thrive off of it like it's just such an amazing experience and so far like I know we've not really gone into filming or anything like that yet but it's really interesting because the whole experience has actually like because I kind of had a stop and like stop to think like honestly my English is awful right now like I can't speak properly like everything just jumbles up like when I get like really excited as well and just in general like everything just like a bleh. so please bear with me and people who know me already know that but if you don't know me well enough or have watched enough videos to know that I'm like that I'm just bear with me I'm, try I'm trying especially when words get muddled up but anyway that's off topic but um yeah like I took a moment to like reflect on the day of the test shoot and I actually got really emotional because I actually just like look like looked back on how far I've come in the past seven years like I was in hospital for an eating disorder being told I was gonna die um like awful stuff with my mental health and like the shell of a person I was now like totally a different person like I would not talk we didn't make eye contact you know would always get really offended by things like always cry I mean I'm still emotional but like I used to cry all the time like the smallest thing like cry 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 like so physically weak that I had to ask permission for a doctor to do things you know like things like that you know I had to go in a wheelchair for like days out because they were scared that it put too much pressure on my heart and all that to now where I'm actually on set of such an amazing project to like I'm also still alive for one as well like that's obviously an important one um and you know like from going from that point in my life to now it's just wild to me and I did get really emotional because I was like I got through all the hard stuff you know like all that stuff that tried to push me down and you know knock me down keep me down like I rose up from it and was like nope this is not it and I'm finally able to tell the story that I want to tell well like with all this so it's really exciting and just really nice to see that I've really managed to turn my life around like a lot um like because I also have a really good relationship with food now um like there is the odd day where you know like sometimes the eating disorder kind of like tries to come back in um and I have to try and work through that a lot because it's like kind of I feel like as much as people say like oh once you're better you're better like it's fine but I think because they try to focus so much on the thought process like well no they don't actually they focus too much on the weight side of things getting you healthy and all that they don't focus enough on the mental side of things so like your body's fine and then when your body's fine they kind of just like discard you in a way like that's how it's felt for me in particular and I know a few other people who have suffered with an eating disorder who have felt like that so I think for me like 
because my body got better before my brain did, my brain still has a hard time trying to process things and what's healthy and what's not. So yeah, like that's still a process, but you know, I have a healthy relationship with food. Like, you know, I'm like eating all the time, like it's all healthy stuff. Um, and I'm finally getting to like a healthy point with exercise. Like I've been exercising like for the workout stuff, but, like if I start to feel like a bit weak or dizzy or whatever, like I'll slow down. Like I'm not pushing myself like 100 miles an hour, like we have to exercise to do this or whatever. Like I'm doing it because I want to, not because I have to. And I think that's really important. But yeah, so I kind of got sidetracked a bit, but I think that's okay because self-reflection is, is important, um, 100%. And, you know, this whole experience has been like quite a self-reflecting thing so far because it's also quite surreal because it's just, it's just really wild how much that turned around like so much and it's just really, I'm just really proud of myself. Like I never usually would ever say that like, oh my God, I'm proud of myself. Like I'd done that, but like I fully am like so proud of myself when you, when I actually like reflect back to see that well actually I've done all this and it's amazing and it's okay to say that and to be proud of yourself um I didn't really have a plan for this video so I didn't expect it to go in like a motivational kind of maybe not motivational but kind of like you know way of like talking about things and trying to like bring positive things out of it I don't really know what was gonna happen but um yeah, so it's been nice to like have a reflection of that and to also kind of just see that, you know, whenever things get bad and how much pressure you're under, like, hold on because things do get better. Because um, on top of that, I did try to take my own life a couple of, quite a few times. And for the first time, like, in a long time, like, I can fully say, like, I'm really glad that they didn't work because it did get better for me like don't get me wrong I'm not perfect like I don't I'm not trying to say like oh my god every day is such a happy day for me like I miss positive like I feel like I'm a positive person but you know like but I think because I'm such high energy like positivity that you know it kind of brings you down and then it's kind of like because my emotions are so like woo, up here there is going to be that moment of where everything kind of comes crashing down like after that um and I do get like that where I have a kind of like a sad day or like my emotions just like go out of like control a little bit where they're ju I just start like crying at everything and like even like small things and I'm just like oh why why are we doing this today yesterday was such a good day but um yeah I'm still trying to like figure that out um but yeah so like it is good to you know hold on and you know because things do get better um so yeah like i am hoping to post some more videos again i'm going to be filming tomorrow to um record some music reactions um i might be recording well i will be recording some other videos too again i just need to plan them out more um but yeah, if you have any suggestions of or what things that you would like to see, don't ever be afraid to, you know, like let me know. Um, because there's nine times nine times out of ten, or ten times out of ten, I'll probably like do them. Um, depending on what it is, obviously. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I just wanted to come on and just like sit down and have a chat, let you know what's been going on. Um, oh, something else is exciting is my grandma got a new puppy. Like she was hoping to get a puppy for, she's been trying to get a puppy for like a really long time, like way before COVID. But um, things just, a lot of things were going on which wasn't fair for her to get a dog and all that. So um, she's now got a puppy. She's got a pu little puppy called Sky. She's a Labrador doll. She's nine weeks old and she's the cutest little thing. I've not met her yet. I spoke to her on FaceTime once, although she was really like scared. She started crying and it was really sad. Um, I think it's just because my grandma had just brought her home and like we're quite loud so it wasn't very great um, but yeah she's so cute and I can't wait to meet her because we're in a bubble with her but she needs to she's getting her second Jags this Friday so hopefully we can see her maybe like next weekend or well, this weekend 
or the next again weekend or a week or whatever well maybe not week well it's maybe the easter holidays next week i don't know i'm really lost lockdown is just a mess on my brain like everything's just such a jumble and i just no idea what's going on anymore um but yeah that's also another thing like i'm really scared about going back to pre-marked work um like literally so scared because it just felt like it's not like they obviously had safety measures in place like they had to like it's not that it's just that a lot of people just wouldn't follow the the things that they had in place and it just was very stressful like people would just come right up to me like right in my face and be like hi can you help me and i'm like whoa hold on a minute like could you take a few steps back first um or i'd have to obviously stand back and you know like the section that i'm in like i don't know if they'll move us again when we go back but the section that i'm in is quite small so then when it gets busy it's really like ridiculous because you get kind of trapped and it's a whole situation and it's just like kind of scaring me because i've been out for so long and anxiety doesn't like change <laughs> but you know we'll get there um just obviously hoping and praying that Cavendish continues to do well because it's doing really well like the first episode surpassed 100,000 watch hours um, in a, like a short space of time so like that was really good um, but yeah this is like the best thing ever like it honestly looks like a 10 on me like I'll show you like it's so baggy um, but yeah like Cavendish is doing really well um, and obviously I kind of hope to be doing acting full time so I don't have to work in retail or anything like that um just because not all customers you meet some lovely people but some are very difficult and i don't want to deal with that anymore <laughs> um but i am grateful to still have a job obviously with the current circumstances um because times are tough and stressful <laughs> um but yeah i don't think i have much else to share with you guys but yeah i definitely haven't quit youtube um i also noticed my subscribers are still going up but i'm like oh my gosh thank gosh because i was like i hope no one unsubscribes thinking that i'm like leaving or giving up like i keep thinking about like posting but then i've been like so exhausted as well with like doing everything else and it's like ugh. because i also other them i've also had to help with the school run a few times um, morning and afternoon which is fine because my mum's been really busy and I just wanted to like help her out um so it's been a whole mixture but I'm sure everyone understands because everyone's in the same boat who's a content creator you know like times are strange and different and not the usual um but yes I'm not going to say that I'm going to try post more because with filming coming up in April for a few for three days, like that's gonna be quite full on. Um, I'm just gonna say that I'll post when I do, because I feel like trying to say that oh I'm gonna post like twice a week blah blah, blah like that felt like a lot of pressure to like live up to a little bit. So yeah, I'm gonna post when I can. I'm I will try to at some point, eventually try again to be more creative with not creative more active with the videos i mean once filming's over and all that for this episode and we have like a bit of a break from that like i probably will like focus on youtube more again because obviously acting is what i want to do full time so like i kind of have to prioritize that in a sense but i also want to prioritize youtube and just finding the balance is quite tricky but i'm going i'm determined to find the balance um but yeah, that's all. I'm really sorry this video is so rambly. I just got really excited to actually sit down and film and talk to you guys. And I like to do these little life updates just to like check in with you guys, like see how you guys are, let you know what's going on, like I haven't quit. Um, things are all good over this end. I will be trying to post more um, or when I can even. Um, eventually we'll try to post more. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, thank you so much you guys for all you guys that support me and continue to support me, especially if I'm not as active and for you guys being so patient with me and not unsubscribing <laughs> um, because I appreciate every single one of you. Um, that was not the correct term, use of English. <sighs> well, there you go. <laughs> I can't even speak English. That's great. <laughs> what hope do I have? 
anyway that is all from me but yeah thank you guys so much if you watched the end of this really random video um but yes i will be back with more content soon thank you guys so much for watching and making it this far and for everything i will see you guys soon bye